Today is video four, folks. We are ready to put the fiberglass reinforced plastic on. I went ahead and painted the door and the trim. I didn't paint the inside trim because I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. So if I just paint the outside, just a nice outdoor brown, easy, easy as cake. And I put this roof on and what I did was you see up here, this used to come right up and I shot a couple screw, screws down this, this board right here. But I took a sawzall and flattened it. And I ran a, my sander, belt sander, all the way down. And the reason I did that was so I could run my slope up this way and then come straight out this way. I'll, show, I'll give you a closer look over here. You can look and kind of see what I did here. And uh, that way it gives me kind of, uh, well, to be honest with you, I just wanted the garage height clearance. Um, it's a few feet down to my truck, and I'll be able to pull this back into the carport. So that's really why I did it. But I think it will be good, too, because you're going to come up like this. And I'm actually going to have on the bottom here my tailgate sticking out like this, and then the top you know, have coming over like this. So it's kind of cool. It's like having a back porch that's covered. So it's kind of neat. I'll show you the other side, how I did that. Now, when I cut this right here with the Sawzall, I took the screws out of the top first and then I cut that with the Sawzall. And you know, this structurally was terrible. I mean, it was, you know, it was really flimsy. So structurally, uh, you need to be careful if you're doing stuff like that. I also ran, I cut a beam, and as you can see, I drilled huge holes so I can get my three inch screws in here. And I put that in there because the wind is going to be hitting the top of this when I'm driving, and I don't want it sagging down. So I added that for some reinforcements. And this one, of course, just kind of sealed those two pieces of plywood. To where there'll be no leaks i don't have to worry about leaks and this one i didn't even screw in from the side i just uh sucked it up with screws from the from up there it's kind of jammed in there too so it's, it's tight so it's kind of cool um so i didn't have to mess with all that but yeah we're ready for our fiberglass reinforced plastic now next time you see it uh let's we'll have that on thanks for watching